What up, what's good? It is your boy BQ. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Hopping on the phone here to talk to you guys. Real quick, was just reading the article. Many of you have come across this already, I'm sure. The Deanna Perrazzo situation, Impact has formally offered her a two-year contract, or it says minimum of two years, with financial incentives. Um, we don't know if this is the first time that they've offered a full-time deal. Uh, we don't know what the talks have looked like. Obviously, this, these are all things that have been, you know, rumored, definitely, definitely behind closed doors. So we don't know exactly, um, you know, the details behind that. But at least that's a good sign that a full-time contract offer has been made. And with the rumor, this was coming via Fightful Select. With the rumor was that she was going to be leaving in Bound for Glory after Bound for Glory, so in October. Um, much like we assumed Tennille Dashwood was going to do last year, but they were able to lock her up long term. And, you know, it goes to show with this knockouts division and sometimes the, you know, impact in general, putting title belts on people who are the flavor of the month. You know, if you're going to come and work without a contract, is that the smart thing to do to put a title on someone versus a group of gals who are under contract and, and who we do know are going to be there? You know, when was the last time we have seen a two-time champion in Impact? Um, you know, I guess we've seen in the tag team division a little bit with LAX, but as far as a singles title, um, X Division, World Title, uh, Knockout Championship, um, I'm, I'm hard pressed to think when was the last time we saw a two-time champion. Um, and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments who that was. It's been a while since we've seen that because we have people coming in very short-term deals people not on deals at all and you know i think it would be a bad thing if she decides that she doesn't want to stay there you know we got to we got to remember that diana did publicly say her first choice was aew when she was released from nxt uh, that Britt baker was her best friend it is her best friend and that's where i thought she was gonna go and we were lucky to get her an impact and she's done killer work so uh you know hopefully whatever deal they made to her is, is very competitive because she is she's delivered in every sense um since being there so let's see what happens let's hope that this is something long term uh the last thing we want is another champion um you know leaving the company uh saying they're going to leave the company with with a belt we've seen it way too many times over the years the same article says EC3 is wrestling without a contract and that Alex Shelley is wrestling without a contract. So there was all this hype at Slammiversary. Who's going to be a Slammiversary? Who's, you know, this is the, the, the new era. New guys are coming to the company. You know, this and this and this. So we got EC3 not under contract. So it doesn't even feel like... It, it, we're all happy he's, he's, you know, working with Impact right now. We're all really excited about it, but... It doesn't feel like before because we feel like it's short term. You got one half of the Motor City Machine Guns wrestling without a contract. So is he really back? Are the you know Motor City Machine Guns really back? Is it another flavor of the month thing? They got the titles. He's gonna go do something else, and then they're stuck in a situation again. Uh, who else came to Slammiversary? The Good Brothers. We know that they're signed, signed. And then we've got Heath, who um, on TV isn't signed. And then they've basically said on TV that EC3 isn't signed. <laughs> and then, of course, we got Brian Myers, who we know is, you know, uh, appears to be there for the long term. So um, the whole the, the way the whole signings happened after after Slammiversary, it's we were expecting some cornerstones, you know, what I'm saying that we're going to be there for a bit. And that doesn't appear to be the case right now. So. Let's keep an eye out, folks. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments about Deanna, um, about you know EC3 and Alex Shelley, about um, you know people wrestling without contracts, short-term deals. Talk to you soon. Peace.